All right, so it's been a little while. Now that it's properly winter outside, I've got the uh, slightly winterish Kakejiku in the background there. Um, right now, I'll be playing a Susadake Hitoyugiri that's not quite finished yet. Uh, and we're going to work on Banshiki, which is the winter mode. So we've got some Banshiki basics today. First of all, how do you play in the Banshiki mode, right? If you remember the basic mode, the Oshiki mode is like this. that progression on the banshiki hole, which is with the first one open, right? So, it sounds kind of like this. Okay, so now if we include the uh, fingering with the all the holes closed, the banshiki mode ends up sounding like this. So overall, this mode is played slightly midi, right? The, the overall feeling is a little bit midi. As you get towards the higher notes, it's, it feels kind of like straightforward, right? Um, again, it's not about having very precise pitches, as far as I can tell, because of the, uh, the way the old instructions put it. We're really just concerned with having the modes in terms of where the finger holes are and, uh, you know, where the position of this relative scale on the flute, rather than against an absolute scale, because the instructions that they provide wouldn't really allow for playing the pieces precisely in tune on most ancient flutes. Um, so it's in tune with itself, you know? That's the important part. Uh, in practice, again, the older flutes are usually about a half tone lower anyway. So, Banshki being a, a roughly a B, but it's more like a, kind of a B flat. Anyway, so how do we play it? All holes closed, a little bit nerdy. It's a bit of a wider interval than you would play in the Oshki. So as you lift up this finger. And you play it just a little bit stronger. You don't really have to move your head so much. Just a little bit of an adjustment, just kind of having that pitch in mind as you're playing will help you play it. Next note is going to be ya. We don't use ta here, we're using ya. And in this case, ya indicates holes 1, 2, and 4 being open. Holes 3 and 5 are closed. That's counting from the bottom. Since we're playing a little bit, well, relatively speaking, we're kind of bringing our breath up straight forward towards the higher end of the scale. And since we're doing that, it makes it more convenient to play with notes like ya, yeah, rather than, right, rather than this. Brings the pitch down to where it's supposed to be. And the same with B, instead of B. Playing that as ta, okay? So the top note has holes one, three, and five open. 
equals 2 and 4 are closed. And that fingering makes sense because it makes it very smooth to play this scale without really doing too much adjustment with your head or anything like that. Just a little bit with your breath is enough. is the same. The bottom three holes are covered. And if any of those notes don't seem to come out, it's probably because you're playing too cutty, right? You gotta make sure you have a general feeling of midi for this mode, otherwise some of the higher notes might be difficult for you to reach. And again, the way the uh, fingering happens on this mode is also kind of interesting. Apparently a lot of the older players liked it because Bunchki gives you lots of different interesting tone color effects, pops and uh, different sorts of effects like that because of the way the fingering changes from eh uh, to ya, ya to ta. Right? So, kind of neat. Now what we're going to do next is work on netori. We're going to use the ryo netori because I like it. It's on the netori page. On the second page there is the first one on that second page. That's the one we're going to be using. All right, you've got a ya e. Hi ta e ya u. It's important you have to remember, okay, sometimes ta is something different, sometimes ya is something different, so you have to get those in your mind too and get the scale in your mind as you play it. And then the next phrase is ho fu e, u ho ho. play the whole thing now and then toy last In that foo, we can play that as a hit, you know? It's um, not clear how it was meant to be played from this particular score, but we can interpret that as a hit and kind of go ho fue. Alright, let's try that again, doing it that way. So there you have our Banshki basics. We'll come back with another one next time and play one of the full pieces.